hello everybody and welcome back to Oakfield Farm where things are going beautifully well for us. We have been working almost entirely through the night and I can show you on this map here. Field 5, apart from a couple of little bits missed, is all ploughed, a couple of bits missed. Working on ploughing field 34 which only leaves field 13 to do, as you can see we've missed in every field that we've done so I'm I'm okay with that as far as fertilizing goes we managed to get field 42 fertilized and field 12 sprayed so all our fields apart from field 13 have now had some kind of uh, fertilization on it apart from field 15 as well, we've got field 13, 15 to do and I think that's pretty much it we don't have any fields up the top here, but this is going to be a relatively short episode because I am quite pressed on time. So I actually have half an hour to record this episode, so I'm going to... There probably won't be much in the way of time lapses, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully the last episode's made up for it. Um, the other thing that's changed is we got rid of the John Deere fertilizer spreader, and we replaced it with uh, a comparable one. Um, it's got a bigger capacity but the same spread and width and it was about the same price anyway it's this one here the Brendel so what we're going to do today is we're going to start off by fertilizing field 13 because I think it's one of our biggest fields put my HUD on um, the only other difference is I've also gone and gotten automatic egg collectors so we shouldn't get that collect your eggs notification anymore, but on the downside we instead will be getting plus one egg on a regular basis. So we're down to under £85,000 now, which is a concern. That is, that is quite a concern, especially considering that I also want to uh, buy a field today. That would be ideal. I actually want to buy two. I have two fields in mind. Um, we are on day three of spring now. So any jobs that we start in this episode, because I'm restricted with uh, with time for recording, any jobs that we start and don't get finished, I will come back and I will, I will finish them off camera. So in the next episode, everything that started will be finished within reason. Anything that would have been finished in a usual episode. There's the Brendo. It's comparable. It looks slightly bigger, but that's because it's got about double the capacity. <laughs> but it is certainly... It's got the same spread and width. That's, that's the key thing. So It shouldn't take us long to do this, because this is quite a width this thing has. It is going to take us a long time to plow this field, though. Hired workers are going to have many issues, so luckily we're ahead with ploughing, so it will actually be the next episode that this field gets ploughed, which I'm actually quite excited about. We also need to use the weeder on field 15 and have that ready to go. Um, because grass will be ready to cut in a couple of days so we need to get the weeder done because that's our big field we're going to make a good bit of money off of that field um, we are going to just uh, in fact we're, that's the field that uh, is going to feed our sheep so we definitely need as much out of it as possible even though it won't be fully grown um, we may wait an extra day, we may wait until day 6 to actually cut that field, but we'll see. Um, we now only have 3 days to get the rest of the seeding done. Currently we haven't got any arable crop in the ground, which is a concern. We've done a lot of field prep, but we haven't gotten anything planted, bar a bit of grass, or some grass done. But you can see just with the scale of this field, this field is huge. It's not the biggest field on the map, but it's 
the biggest field that we currently own. So this is going to be our main cash field. I would like to get started with silage. For obvious reasons. But I'd also like to get sheep very soon as well. Now we have everything we need to do silage. But we don't have any sheep. So the sheep's going to be an expense that we can hopefully afford. And uh, if not, we can always do some silage for the first cut and get sheep in summer. I'd like sheep as soon as possible. I'd also like pigs pretty soon as well. The pigs are an expense. And for this first year, they are going to cost us a lot more than they're going to save us. But I'd like them anyway. Uh, we will also be getting cows this year as well. That's that's uh, that's a, that one's for definite because cows are worth an absolute fortune. They just spew money out. But I want a large, very very large herd of cows. We don't have an animal trailer at present, so given that, we will probably do field 15 as silage bales in order to get enough money to buy an animal trailer. And it's also worth noting, we don't have a... we do have a tipper. I forgot that we had a tipper. We've got a... a bailey tipper, I believe. I think... I will need to double check that. I'm not sure if we've got a tipper. It's not the end of the road if we don't. Great demand for wood chips. We've not done any forestry. We don't have time to do forestry. That's something that we may do over winter or summer when we don't have an awful lot of field work to do. But field work is taking priority in spring. It's the busiest time of the year. With that island in the middle, it poses an issue for this field when it comes to hired workers working it but we will be getting a hired worker to do this field for us and we currently have a hired worker ploughing field 34 which is I believe the last field that needs to be ploughed apart from this one unless I've missed one I think that's the last field that we need to do We're making pretty decent progress on this field. It's not taking as long as I thought it would. And this is just an extra step. Um, we're just doing this so that it's done that way. We don't necessarily need to because I fertilise over the top of plough. So this field will be fertilised with solid fertiliser twice and then sprayed. And that'll be its three fertilising processes for fields that I haven't fertilized the uh, previous stubble prior to plowing they will be weeded at the first stage as well that will give them their third sort of uh, fertilizing stage at least that's the intention anyway I'd say we're about halfway through this field now, which has not taken anywhere near as long as I thought it would. Which is pretty ideal. Like I said, this, this island in the middle does pose a problem. But well, it's nothing we can literally work around. Uh, I'd like to own the majority of the fields on this map at some point. I plan on keeping this series running all the way up to and maybe even past the release date for FS19. 
because I, this this is a map that has grown on me quite significantly. The West Coast used to be my all-time favourite map, and it is still up there. I do I do love the West Coast, but Ophiel Farm is is currently my favourite map. It's an older map now. It's not quite as popular as the like of Lone Oak Farm and Letton Farm, for example. And that Welsh one that I'm not even going to try and pronounce, which I haven't done a series on. But I, I like this one. And because we messed it up the first time, then, uh, you know, it's only, it's only fair in the map that we, we give it another go. But in other news, Letton Farm, if it hasn't already, at the time we're recording this, Letton Farm, I believe, only has one more episode to do. I'm not sure if I'll have had it out by now, but if not, there is only one more episode of Letton Farm left, and it is a bit of an unusual one. It's uh, something a bit different. So if it's not out yet, keep an eye out for that. If it is out, go and have a look at that. I'm not sure when I'll actually get round to releasing that episode. It's already recorded. Um, I recorded it about a week ago, but I like to space the Letting Farm episodes out a little bit. Because they take hours and hours to make. Oh, we're, almost, we're almost done here. This is something I would have usually time-lapsed. But, unfortunately, there won't be any time lapses in this episode. But I'm not sure if that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, time lapses are good and all, but... I'm not the biggest fan of making them, or watching them. At least not too often, anyway. Maybe another two passes and we'll be done. Getting quite a few hours on this case. Nothing compared to the Fent. No, the Fent is over five working hours now, I believe. Or somewhere in that region, anyway. It's pretty much been non-stop since I first loaded the save. It was actually the first vehicle I bought was the, uh, was the Fent. But we are going to need to upgrade some of our tractors in the future. Um, as we progress. But we're not quite at that we're not quite anywhere near that point yet. And um, we'll probably be keeping the fen and the case for at least a year. And I don't see any particular reason to replace the MB track just now. But we will need more big tractors. Wouldn't mind seeing a John Deere or two on the go. Maybe a class. Maybe even a bigger case. This case is, is case is not a brand that I'd usually go for, but I am loving this case. I'd usually go for Massey Ferguson. And there is one specific Massey Ferguson that may make an appearance on this series at some point. Um, but I'm not going to give anything else away about that because that is part of something much bigger. So if if and when it does appear, then uh, you'll know exactly what one I'm on about. Even if I get another Massey, you, you will know what Massey I'm on about when I get it, if I get it, for this series. It's a Massey that will appear in a live stream at some point as well. So, uh, yeah, got some, got some bits and pieces on the go. That's worth pointing out. If you're interested in the behind the scenes bits and pieces that I do, and having a chat with me, Discord is the best place for you. Um, I have a Discord server, the link of which will be in the description of this video. It is also on the top of my channel page. 
So you can head over there and say hi, have a look around, see uh, updates on live stream series as well as offer suggestions for other games and see some behind the scenes type thing. I'll also be in the coming days recording some Discord only footage I believe. Um, I have some patron footage that I need to record. So um, I also need to do some for Discord bits and pieces. But that's this field completely done. Fully fertilized. Very happy about that. Now we need to keep enough money aside that we can afford to refuel the tractors because I know that the Fend will have used quite a bit of fuel. Um, the case here is used a, almost a quarter of a tank. Which is uh, not bad for three days. But let's go and put the fertilizer back, or the fertilizer spreader back. And then what we need to do is we need to attach to the cultivator. And work on getting a couple of crops in the ground. In fact, on second thought, we'll not attach to the cultivator. We'll attach to the cedar. Put the cedar. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong here. I will cultivate with the case, and I will seed with the MB track. That's what I'll do. So we also need to take the van with us. The van that doesn't really get any work. on follow me and we will be driving the case the van can follow us because the van is much quicker than the case so it should have no problem keeping up whereas if it was the other way around we'd end up losing the case somewhere along the road I like how the steering wheel is clean apart from the badge in the center. The badge in the center is absolutely filthy. Oh dear. So the van has made it out in front of that car. heading up this way. Van is still following us. We managed to make it through that entrance without crashing, which is a surprise. Now, what we need to do is we're going to get this on a hired worker. Sack that hired worker. Move the van back off the field. We'll leave her running just now. See if we can line this up a bit better than that. jump back in the van 
because we have something a little bit different to do just now. We have to go all the way along here. It's a rather uh, interesting path we've got. Don't know if this is the right way to go, but this is the way I'm going. So there's always that. It is the right way. And double check that there's no cars. Oh, there's the fen there. Working away quite nicely by the looks of it. He's missing the odd bit here and there, but well, that's kind of normal. But we need to go down this way. In to here. Turn the van off. Hopefully we're off the road enough there. Get this gate open. This is the local stables. And first we're going to sell our eggs. There's a bit of money for us. And then we're going to buy this field here, field 38. It's pretty cheap. Six and a half grand. And we're also going to buy field 37 for just over eight grand. So we're down to 70 grand now, but we've just bought two new fields, which is nice. I don't think this gate can close. No, this gate's uh, kind of looks like it's just propped up. But that's all we have time for today, unfortunately. Um, like I said, it is a bit of a shorter episode, but hopefully you have enjoyed it anyway. If you have, hit that like button. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for the next episode. But thank you all very kindly for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.